Welcome to Teatley Scientific's tutorial video series for Anabat Insight. Today I'll demonstrate how to search for files containing bat calls. Today we are searching through a full spectrum dataset recorded on an Anabat walkabout. I've already set my triggers and smoothness. For more information on how to do this, see the triggers and smoothness tutorial video. You can see as I scroll through this dataset in compressed mode, not every file contains bat calls. So I'll run a search to find the bat calls. We'll close the spectrogram window and go to the search tab. You can see that I've got the search button selected. Under criteria type, I'll choose filter. For accept, I'll choose match. This means only files that match the criteria will be shown in the results. Finally, we'll choose the example all bats filter supplied with Anabat Insight. You can always choose your own AllBats filter if you have one. Then we'll click Add. You can see the criteria has appeared in the search box. The analysis settings by default will match your viewing settings. I'm on a ZC threshold of 17 and a smoothness filter of 6. We are going to run an average search, which means the average metrics for the file have to pass the filter. If I was to select per pulse, then a file would pass if even one pulse passed the AllBats criteria. Now we'll click Run Search. It may take a moment depending on how many files you have and if they are full spectrum or ZC. You will automatically be taken to the Results tab next to the Search tab. We can open files directly from the results and scroll through them. You can see that all of these files contain BAT passes. Now we'll try a different search. This time we are going to send all the noise files to the trash. Go back to the search tab, click on the old criteria and select remove. We'll close the open spectrogram for now. Now we'll change the accept to non-match. This means that files that don't pass the AllBats filter will be shown in the results. We'll click add. We'll add an action now. Under action type we'll select move to trash then click Add. You can now see in the search bar files that fail the AllBats filter will be moved to the trash. Now we'll run search. This will replace all of the results in the results tab with the new search results. Again, we can scroll through these files and see that none of them contain bat calls. If we go back to the Recordings tab, you can see that the trash has a hundred noise files in it. If we want to, we can restore one of these files back to where it came by right-clicking the file and selecting Restore Recording. If we wanted to, we can permanently delete all the recordings by right-clicking on the trash and click Empty Trash. Or, if we changed our mind, we want to restore all the recordings, just select Restore All Recordings. They'll all be placed back where they came from. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, check out the user manual on our website or send us an email at insight at scientificcom